Hi everybody, this is the solutions for lab six. I'm having some problems recording tonight, probably because the internet speed is slowing down apparently. Um, so I hope this goes through. So you just had three problems in terms of the lab. They're pretty simple, straightforward. And so for correlation, uh, the problem number one, where we're correlating hus uh, wife's education and husband's education, we ask the sample size. The sample size is 784. Then we have to talk about the solution. And I'm just going over here because I know that I have to get my calculator to do R squared. So anyway, uh, it's significant. We're looking at the significance level, and we're looking for something less than 0.05. Remember that SPSS is giving us the exact probability of a type 1 error here. So it's less than 1%. So that's less than a 5% chance, which is our alpha. So we reject the HO. So we can just simply say there was a significant and positive correlation between a wife's education and a husband's education, comma, R equals 0.63, comma, P is less than 0 0.05. And let's find out the R squared. R squared equals 0 0.40. So 40% of the husband's education is directly linked to that of the wife. You can reverse that too. So 40% of the wife's, the variance in wife's education is directly linked to the husband's education. Now let's look at the next correlation that we're supposed to analyze. Here we can see that there's a sample size of 1,290. We look here to see if we have a significant correlation, and it is. That sig is less than 0 0.05. So again, this is the exact probability level of a type 1 error. So it's less than 1%. So we reject the HO. It's a significant correlation. So we can interpret that. There was a significant and positive correlation between the respondent's education level and that of their mother, comma, R equals 0.44, comma, P is less than 0 0.05. And then R squared is simply 0.442, times 0.442, and that equals 20, essentially. So we round up the 20 here. So R squared was 20, 0 0.20. So that means that 20% of the variance in our respondent's education level was directly linked to the educational level of their mother. The final question is about regression. And so, it asks us to look first look here. And so the R right here, R for our regression of um, predicting uh, the samples, the respondents' education level with mothers. So the mother's education is the predictor. It says it right here. And then the DV is the respondents' educational level. So the correlation is 0.44 which is the correlation that we found right here. So the Pearson correlation is equal to the R in a simple regression. Simple regression is one variable predicting another variable. So mother's education level predicting the education level of our sample, the respondents in our sample. R squared is 0.196, if we round it up, 0 0.20. That's the R squared that we found also for the Pearson. So those things are the same numbers. So the regression, simple regression and correlation are doing the same thing. We're doing the simple regression here because we can get the linear equation here. So the linear equation is Y equals slope times X plus the Y intercept. So here we have our predictor, that's x. So y equals 0.38x plus, here's a constant, plus the y-intercept is 9.22.
So this is the x, and this is the slope of x, or I should say the, the slope that you multiply by x. And this is the y-intercept. It's a constant. It's right here. So again, the equation is y equals 3.38x plus 9.22. That's the equation. So I think this lab is very simple. So hopefully this recording went well and you found the lab to be relatively easy. I'll talk to you.